good. All right, hey man, shout out to my boy Dre. I see he just got me right. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go subscribe to that channel right now. Right now, so like this now. ain't got a YouTube channel as well. Yeah. Hey, go ahead and subscribe to Karina and Jordy. If you don't know how to spell her name, it's K A R I N A and Jordy. So uh, yeah, man, shout out to my boy. Dre, you already know. You already know. Me and Amherst, Ohio exclusives, come get to it. <laughs> what is good, beautiful people? I just want to thank you guys for clicking on this video and watching it. I pray that you would learn and apply some of these tips and tricks to your barbering career and that it would advance and take you to the next level. But to get into this haircut, we're going to start off by just clearing out some hair, kind of debulking. We're not making any lines or anything, just making a clean canvas so we can start our fading process. All right, so to start the fading process, we're going to go in with our trimmer, kind of making our bald line. And we're going to start at the top of the arch C cup area and then go towards the bottom. A little bit below the top of the ear. We're gonna follow it up with the shaver to get it nice and close to the skin. So when we do uh, complete this blend, that that gradients that we're looking for will just, you know, be that much. Will stand out that much more. You feel me? And then to start our first guideline, we're gonna go in with our clipper all the way open, going up about a half an inch, keeping or following the same shape that we made with the broad line. Right under that, we're gonna go closed. And then here you see me open it a little bit. Open it a little bit more. Making sure I'm staying under that all the way open. You know what I mean? And now we're gonna follow that up with the one guard all the way open. Again, going about a half an inch. And here you can already kind of see the blend come together. You know what I mean? And this doesn't happen for every hair texture, but for some hair textures, it's easier to blend. So you can see it starts to come together and here you see me close it right under that one open and if there still is a faint line we're going to go ahead and attack that with the half guard and the detail portion. And now we're going to go with our one and a half all the way open. Actually here you'll see me close it just a little bit and this will be the highest guard that we, we use. This is kind of using flicking it out to kind of blend into the top a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go in with my clipper over comb technique. Now my clipper is all the way open and we're just blending into what he has on top. And what I like to do, as you guys know, if you've watched any previous videos, I like to get through my steps as quickly as possible and then spend the, major the majority of the time detailing the blend and the lineup and the total look of the haircut. Because again, that is what will separate you from other barbers is the detail that you put into your work and the clients will notice that you feel me and for his hairline uh we like to taper it down just a little bit uh just so when i do line it up it it lines up a lot cleaner lasts a little bit longer and all those curly hangover hairs are kind of eliminated and we're gonna go ahead and start the high taper on the other side following the same process you know what i mean Kind of debulking with our two guard all the way open. And this is a great angle of uh, the flicking out motion that I'm using. You know what I mean? Now we're going in with our trimmer. Again, starting at the top of the C cup arch area and going towards the bottom. Balling that boy out. And it's all about the process, family. Just like with anything in life, there's a process, there's a system, there's work that you need to put in and get familiar with to get to where you want to be. Because when we start off a haircut, we should have a visual of what we want it to look like. And then we have to follow the steps to achieve that look. And with life, there's going to be things that we desire, that we want. And we have to follow the process and put in the work to put us in the position to accomplish that dream. Just like we're trying to accomplish this look. You know what I mean? So we're going in with our one guard all the way open. And like I said, you see that blend coming together already. This hair texture is very easy to blend. 
but it's all about getting familiar with all types of hair textures because you want to be a master at your craft you don't want to be limited you know what i mean you want to be able to, to offer multiple services cut different type of hair textures so again you can advance your career to the best level that you can so you never want to stop learning you never want to stop perfecting what you do you always want to grind and put in the work right under that one open we went in with a half to kind of get rid of that faint line and we're going back to the two guard open uh just so we can remove a little bit more more hair to clear some space for that one and a half we're gonna follow this up with and you'll see me kind of flick out uh you can see it really well from this angle and this is kind of as well as debulking it is also shaping you know what i mean because we're blending into a wedged style so i don't want to go straight up with it i want to go kind of out because he wants that wedge look and here you'll see me close it just slightly and this right here is the one and a half all the way open and this is where the blend starts to look like a blend and especially with this uh hair texture you'll see me brush it a lot because it is so curly that you can go through it with the guard and it'll bunch up in one area. So you wanna make sure you're laying those hairs down as you fade. This is our one guard open. Kinda of getting into those dark areas that we couldn't get to with the one and a half. Brushing, like I said. And same idea with the hairline. We're gonna lay down the, the curly hairline with the one and a half. Just so when we do line it up, it lines up a lot nicer and a lot cleaner. And it'll give, it, it'll give the lineup a little bit more longevity. Give you guys a better look at the taper. That joint's coming out tough, family. And again, I'm going in with the clipper over comb technique. Uh, just to blend into the top slightly better hand in a little bit to get that shape nice and right and the blend nice and tight man you boy out here spinning bars stop playing with me now this boy's neck is looking raggedy so we're gonna go in with the two guard open Clearing some hair out the way, making a nice clean canvas. And the two guard open is the biggest guard we are going to be used on the neck taper as well. And here I went in with my clipper first. Uh, I really do not know why. Uh, this will be our first guideline, and right under that, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in with my trimmer and ball that out, and as well as the shaver. That was weird, I honestly don't know why I did that. It probably was just because I wasn't thinking. But nonetheless, same process, still applying pressure, still making sure this blend and this taper are gonna be nice. Get my man Jordan looking right. Now my man Jordan is soon to be, is going to be a soon to be father. Him and Karina are having a baby. So congratulations, Jordy and Karina. And their YouTube channel is a couple's YouTube channel. They do some funny uh, prank videos, really cool people. Uh, much love to my guy, Jordan, and much love to his girl, Karina. But we're going in with the clipper all the way open right after balling them out. I'm going close, and you'll see me open it gradually as I get towards the top of that guideline, but I'm always gonna make sure I'm not going into that guideline. I wanna stay right under it because I don't wanna make another line that I have to get out, you know what I'm saying? And this is our one guard all the way open. Still following the same process, family. Nothing changes. We use the same process, attacking every area of the head and as well as every texture of hair. You wanna be versatile. You 
want to be a sniper with the Clippers. You hear me? But uh, family, at the beginning of the year, I talked about goals and and accomplishing those goals. So I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section. I want you to tell me how your year has been going so far. Uh, what goals uh, have you accomplished so far? And um, what are some of the things that you have accomplished, you know what I'm saying, so far in this year? I know we haven't been deep into it, but we've been about a couple months now almost. So we should be in, seeing some progress slowly, but surely. So let me know down in the comments how it's been going so far. Some things you accomplished as well as some things you're struggling with. You know what I mean? Because as we all know, life is it, at times cannot be easy. Sometimes it gets very hard. So I want to know some things that you possibly would need prayer for. You know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. Let me know and I got you. But stay strong. Stay pushing you know what i mean you don't ever want to just uh fold and give up because ultimately that's not going to get you anywhere you always want to keep on pushing forward and focus on jesus because he will give you strength in those moments where it feels like it's overwhelming you know what i mean so let me know down in the comments how everything's going so far this year My dude's neck is looking a whole lot better. It's blending to the top very well. And just taking his look to another level, which is what we're all about, is leveling up and being the best you could possibly be. And just like I did for the front uh, portion of the lineup, I do for the nape area of the lineup. Because a lot of times I'll see people do a taper and it looks really good, but the area between the neck taper and the side taper looks very bulky and weighty so i like to lay those hairs down but when lining up the nape uh, neck area of the lineup i start at the top of the ear just so i avoid white walling him and taking him taking it too high so i start at the top and then work my way to the bottom start at the top go to the bottom and then meet in the middle sorry so i go to the bottom keeping it as natural as possible while getting it as crispy as possible and meet that right in the middle rid of all those hairs and you'll see that taper uh looks a lot better when you put the line on there but it also lets you see some flaws that you need to go back in detail which we will do and here this is a technique that i use i uh grab some hair with the uh comb and i kind of knock it down and lay it down with the clipper so when i do line it up it avoids those those hangover hairs around the neckline and allows for a lot cleaner look that also has longevity because it's the same exact idea as what we did to the front portion of the lineup. Now we're gonna go to the other side of the head and do the same exact thing, going with the grain with our one and a half, laying those hairs down. Just give this haircut a lot cleaner look. I'm excited, family. Uh, at the end of March, I'm going to Chris Basio's Education with Purpose tour. I'm really, I'm really excited to to meet Chris Basio again, and as well meet Vic Blends, which are two people that have influenced me greatly and that I've learned a lot from. So I'm super excited to take that trip to Florida and just learn and experience. Cause again, guys, I told you I was gonna try to put myself in opportunities and positions where I can win and achieve some of these goals so i'm gonna go to this event to network and just talk with some big names you know what i mean and and learn as much as i can and i'm just super excited i'm gonna i'm gonna uh vlog the trip you know what i mean and, and i'm just excited so i want to share with you guys the education with purpose tour at the end of the month if you guys want to learn uh more about barbering and and advance your career i would definitely suggest buying some tickets to this event again education with purpose it is at the end of march and i'm super excited to go to it 
but here you're gonna see me detail the taper after I put the line on it and that taper is looking tough buddy looking super clean I think the taper whether it be high low into the nappy top is a really good look honestly if I had that texture of hair I would probably do something along the same lines hit it with the sponge brush you know what I'm saying but I'll give you guys a look at his lineup before we get into it. And with the lineup, I always start to light, uh, start towards the middle and work my way to his left side of the head, which would be your guys' right from the way you're viewing it. And you can see as we put the line on there, it just brings everything together because when you, what the lineup does is kind of like the frame. You're putting a frame on the art, you know what I'm saying? So you 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 put the blend you did the fade now when you line it up you're kind of framing everything and this is going to show you some imperfections that you need to detail and work on but we're just attacking that line keeping it natural as well as getting it crispy as possible now we're going to move to the other side of the head and from this angle that taper is looking really nice family let me know what you guys think Just attacking that line, keeping it natural. It's crazy what that lineup will do. All right, y'all. So we did the lineup, and now we're going to enhance it with a semi permanent hair color. And I'm just going to spray it lightly and then take the card away. And if I need, think it needs to be a little bit darker. I'll go ahead and do that, but you always want to be cautious of, of making it look as natural as possible. Because you don't want to spray it too heavy or too dark because then it looks super fake. You know what I mean? What this is supposed to be is just enhancement, meaning it's enhancing those lighter areas that, that are kind of imperfect and making them perfect. So the client can leave that chair feeling 100% confident in you. And then the haircut he got, and as well as 100% confident in himself, which is what it's all about, is making the client feel amazing. So we went ahead and added that to the lineup. Now we're gonna go ahead and add it, add it to the nape line. And this is definitely just gonna take that haircut to the next level, make it Instagram level. You know what I mean? And if I'm being honest with you guys, almost all my clients love this service. You know what I mean? I, I, there's there's a few that would prefer not to have it, but the majority always love the enhancements. Now, family, this is a technique that I have learned from Vic Blends at Get Beamed, and it is the the barber pencil. And here, what this is gonna do? I'm just gonna uh, follow the lineup with it, and then I'm gonna attack it with the trimmer kind of spread that out a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and attack that with the razor now as you guys will see when I'm done with this part of the haircut it's going to give the lineup that HD effect that HD look because what that white pencil does it, is it creates a contrast between the dark hair and the lineup on top and his skin which allows that lineup to look super sharp and super crisp it kind of mimics the ash line that we desire and as you can see it's looking really clean it is temporary you know what i mean but a haircut is temporary color enhancement is temporary so if i can make my client feel amazing for the day that it lasts why not do it especially if the client likes it if the client likes it you cannot argue with me i don't care what you say my client enjoys it i'm gonna do it you know what i mean because i'm trying to make my client feel his best not make you feel good you know what i mean so this is the cut youtube a high taper with the nappy top let me know what you guys think in the comments hopefully you guys learned something subscribe to add jay clip i mean follow at jay clipper hands subscribe to add jay clipper hands and hit that like button hit that subscribe button comment down below what you think and again family much love stay consistent keep grinding don't get tired much love